Now let's talk to Don McGuire, SVP and CMO for Qualcomm and find out a little bit more about how things are going. Don, thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely amazing what all you've announced. But first, I want to know a little bit about the change in name. I mean, we've always known Qualcomm platform with that three digit. Now you've changed that entire thing. Is there a reason for it? I would offer a slight correction to that. Snapdragon is the brand. Um, our numbering and naming architecture is different depending on the product line. Um, it's the mobile platforms that have actually been the legacy platforms that have continued to use three digits. So it's a combination of two things. One is we did research with consumers uh, in China, in India, as well as in other places around the world. And we discovered two things. One is beyond the first digit, nobody remembers the other two. The single digit architecture was the simplest architecture in determining, uh, helping them decide which platform or which smartphone to choose based on the platform. Um, so those two factors in combination with the fact that, as you know, our last platform was named the 888, we were running out of three digit numbers. And so at some point, which we've known for several years now, we were gonna run out of numbers and we we're gonna have to figure out what to do next. So Don, can you take us through some of the big changes in this new chipset and platform? We announced major improvements across the board, um, across our four ex experience pillars which are really around camera, connectivity, gaming and performance and AI. And so they're not only generational uh, improvements across those four pillars versus last year's Snapdragon 888 and the 888 Plus, but also versus the competition. Um, so we've, we're maintaining, continuing to lead and maintain our leadership in camera. Um, nobody even comes close with regards to our camera technology and the features that we have in bringing uh, DSLR professional quality photography experiences to our camera technology for OEMs to create great camera experiences for consumers. Across AI, our AI engine, our fourth generation AI engine um, is again, industry leading as far as, as far as tops go. We announced a bunch of new elite gaming features. We have now 50 mobile firsts in bringing desktop level gaming features to our elite gaming suite. Um, and so between AI, camera, gaming and sustained performance, and connectivity, um, including 5G, uh, the latest in 5G technology with our Snapdragon X65 modem RF system, uh, including um, both millimeter wave and sub six and supporting the most bands and the most networks globally. And then on top of that, it's support for Wi-Fi 6E with our Fax Connect solution is the world's fastest Wi-Fi solution. Now, whenever we think of absolutely top of the line flagship processors, they're always expensive, therefore only available in top of the line flagship processors. Now with this chip shortage and prices always increasing, do you think this entire problem with flagship processors being very expensive will continue? Snapdragon 8 is our premium tier platform. So it is going to land in flagship mobile devices. Um, how the OEMs position those devices, our partners, uh, our OEMs position those devices and how they price them in the marketplace obviously is completely up to them. Um, as far as supply chain goes, um, what we've said publicly from a supply chain perspective is we've, we've done a great job with multi-sourcing, with adding additional capacity with our suppliers ahead of the supply chain crunch to where we are in a very good position with regards to supply versus maybe others. Um, so, and we think it just gets better from here. It, we've seen mass, vast improvements in Q4 of the uh, calendar Q4 of this year, um, especially with our mobile platforms. And we, we continue to see continued improvement in 2022. And on there is this constant debate about how brands are now starting to do their own thing. Google has the Tensor, Apple has their own bionic chip. So do you believe that this could be the future that brands come up with their own thing? Uh, what do you think you have different from everything you've announced now from say all the competing platforms that are coming out in the mobile space? We try to focus on what experiences matter to the end user. We start there and we work backwards. And if you look at what the use cases are for a smartphone or basic functionality like texting and messaging and things like that, or engaging with social media or web browsing, um, it's really about camera. It's about gaming, right? It's about performance and battery life. And it's about connectivity because without connectivity, you couldn't do any of that. So we focus on the most important pillars of the experience wheel when it comes to delivering a smartphone platform. Um, and I think, as you can see by what we announced yesterday, we continue to lead in all four of those areas. Thank you so much for speaking with us, Don, and we look forward to trying out everything that you've announced. Mm -hmm.